Hello folks, this is Chris, KY4CKP for Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. Uh, just here with a quick follow-up to the ARCOM build. This is part two, coming up next on El Cara Ham Radio. All right, folks. Well, I had some time this week, so I went down to uh, El Cara Worldwide Headquarters and spent a couple of hours, a couple of three hours behind the soldering iron to uh, make some more uh, progress on the ARCOM do-it-yourself build kit that we got for our controller. Uh, you can get these fully assembled and in a case and ready to go, uh, and that's certainly a way to go. We've got two or three of those as well. But uh, we really felt like we wanted to get one of their do-it-yourself kits and uh, get various of our club members some time behind the soldering iron and, uh, and help do this and kind of uh, record the progress on this. And so that's uh, th what this is, part two of this build. Just showing we uh, got a bunch more components soldered onto the motherboard. Uh, just uh, the president of the club, Don, was keeping us well organized, going through the instructions, doing section by section. Uh, typically, you would put on uh, four, six, eight components, uh, similar components at a time on different spots on the motherboard. Uh, so that's what we did. We just went through and got a lot more stuff here. You can see we've got some uh, of the analytic capacitors on there, uh, more resistors, uh, more of the ceramic capacitors. Uh, as we'll see in a little bit, we even got the uh, the LEDs on. And, you know, that's really the main thing with a build like this. you got to get the pretty LEDs on there, so you're, you're going to have something nice to look at. But, yeah, we made a lot of progress on this. And so probably need uh, another two- to three-hour session to, uh, to pretty much finish off the, uh, the remaining components and then you uh, do some spot checks around the board to make sure the right level and type of power is getting to different points and for the different uh, chips and everything before you put those in and uh, risk damaging them. So that'll be part three and that should, uh, should let us start uh, wrapping up the, uh, the basic build part of this. We did order the cabinet to go with this and uh, so we'll be um, showing that off and getting it into there. But you can see there's, uh, there's definitely been some progress made, but also there's some empty component slots uh, still on this, uh, this motherboard. So uh, those are the, uh, the LEDs that we got on there. So you'll see here in just a moment, we got all those filled in. And uh, those will give you feedback on what's going on with the unit and the condition of the unit and uh, normal operations or any potential uh, problems or anything like that as well. So you've got the, the uh, four main sections there, the, the red, the green, the yellow, and then the multicolor. Uh, they're on the left hand side so yeah got a lot of good progress made uh, really hot it's really hot uh, here in central kentucky right now as it is in a lot of areas of the country so we were doing this uh, inside with the air conditioning made it a lot nicer to uh, to work on this but got a lot of good progress done so that'll wrap it up for part two folks this is chris ky4ckp we'll see you in the next video 73.